show you what it's like to live in Oceanside, California, San Diego's northernmost coastal community and probably the best value beach community in all of San Diego. So if you're interested in this type of content, join the community by hitting that subscribe button down below. So today we're joined by my favorite person to visit Oceanside with, my partner in crime and our client care specialist with the Best Life Home Team, Stephanie. So Steph, I know we're gonna talk about the restaurants, the bars, the places to go, the places to check out, but before we get into that, what is it like living in Oceanside? So Oceanside, we are located just north of Carlsbad, south of Camp Pendleton, and west of Vista. I love this beach town because it's got a super laid back vibe, yeah. really easy going. And to me, it's a little bit of a hidden gem of our coastal cities. Big hidden gem, yeah. And, and when you say Camp Pendleton, so if you don't know Camp Pendleton, it's one of the biggest Marine Corps bases in the US just north of Oceanside. So that's really a, a big part of this community. There's a big military component. In fact, Oceanside is so close to Camp Pendleton that in certain parts you can even hear and see them doing different drills, helicopters coming by. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you could be on the beach and a helicopter will be coming like, it feels like they're, they're you know, 20 feet above the ground. They're probably a little bit higher than that. But you have them coming by, you can actually hear the munitions explosions in, in certain parts of Oceanside when they're doing their drills. It's pretty wild. And historically, Oceanside wasn't known as being the best part of town, but I really feel like it's been making a huge turnaround. I get asked all the time, Dan, what are the neighborhoods that are gonna see the biggest growth in the next couple of years? Like, where, where are the biggest opportunities to buy in San Diego? And to be completely honest, Oceanside is always on the top of my list. Yeah, for sure, it's mine. So now we're in downtown Oceanside, which is just a couple blocks away from the coast. Oceanside in total has three miles of coastline, but the reality is a majority of people and a majority of Oceanside is gonna be away from the coast, is gonna be on the east side of the I-5 freeway. But this is where you come hang out, and this is what you think of when you think of Oceanside, this kind of like beach, surfer, skate, craft vibe. side by the locals. It's definitely got the laid back vibe, super casual. I think that if you want the most out of a beach community, you'll find it here. And if you're actually looking to purchase something over here, you can get beachfront condos for a million to 1.5. That literally your, your living room overlooks the ocean and you're a block away. And if you're looking for single family homes on this beach community, you're looking anywhere from one to six million dollars. But for six million dollars, you can literally find a home with a staircase down to the beach, which you can't find anywhere else in San Diego. We weren't expecting this, but there's actually a farmer's market going on out here today. As a lot of communities in San Diego, they have farmer's markets. We're gonna go check this one out. stuff one of my favorite spots in Oceanside I'm so excited to show you guys so we are at the Rising Co and it is an awesome little co-op for the community there's a couple different shops I get my plant fix here I can get some awesome bags that I love some gifts and I can grab a good coffee too and I have to admit we've done a lot of restaurants and foodie places in the videos that I've done and it's not just Googling those places, it's 100% from you because you're very uh, involved in the food community here. And so I'm excited to try this place out. I'm gonna go for an iced peppermint mocha, that sounds lovely.
right, so now we're taking you to probably our favorite place in Oceanside. It's a little bit off the beaten path, but you have some real trendy restaurants and sh shops over here. Mm -hmm. So this is my favorite spot. It's the Tremont Collective, kind of where we just were over at the Rising Co. Uh, filled with really great restaurants, shops. You've got an awesome Brixton store if you need to grab a little hat before you head to the beach. It's great. <laughs> So what do you like about Oceanside? Well, for one, I love that we can ride our bikes here from our house. Yeah. It's awesome. About 10 minutes up the coast. Yeah, it's great. I love the weather. Yeah. I think Oceanside really has it all when you want to come for beach, have a good beach day, restaurants, just kind of walk around and have a nice relaxing day. It definitely has less tourists than a lot of the other yes. beach communities. It feels more like a local's town, which is awesome. Yeah, agree, 100%. And I think that that's kind of the beauty and the charm of the, the O-side vibe. Yeah. The other thing I love about Oceanside is that because it is an up and coming beach town, you've got a lot of young families that can afford to live Absolutely. here. There's culture around this community that really values the small businesses and the local art scene. And it's a really cool spot. You've got something for everyone here and the appreciation for the arts in the community is really vibrant. Yeah, and there's a ton of value in the homes here as well. Right now, today, there are 70 single family homes for sale in Oceanside, which is a lot for San Diego. Yeah. And within those 70 homes, you have homes that starting from 650,000 to maybe 1.5 million, depending on how close you get to the coast. But for a single family move-in ready home for less than $700,000 is crazy. It's awesome. So good. Little hazy IPA from North Park. Cheers. <laughs> so let's be real. Would you live in Oceanside? Absolutely. I would love to live in Oceanside. I think some things to keep in mind if you are considering a move to Oceanside and probably the reason why we didn't move here yeah. when we were moving. We've, we've actually talked about this before. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the commute. You know, you definitely are far from San Diego, mm -hmm. but if that's not important to you, then Oceanside's the way to go. Yeah, that's 100% the reason why we didn't choose Oceanside, but it was up there. It was yeah. like a discussion for a long time. All right, Steph, so tell us where we're at right now. This is one of our favorite restaurants in all of San Diego, and it really is a little hidden gem. It is, absolutely. So we're at Shoots um, in Oceanside in the Tremont Collective. It's a sustainable, fast, casual fish concept um, right inside Bottlecraft. So you kind of yeah. have the best of both worlds eating. With some of the best beer in San Diego. Yeah, but also you get to just eat locally caught seafood and really not even have to think about it. And yeah. it's awesome. That's what I appreciate about David and Jessica. They're big advocates in our food scene here in San Diego. And if they're opening up another restaurant, I'm always gonna be there. 100%, what are we eating over here? I went for the smash burger. Yeah. This is a locally caught tuna patty that they smash on the flat top, topped with American cheese. Looks like a nice homemade tartar sauce. What's cool is they make it look there. like a fast food restaurant, yeah. but with like high-end ingredients. And a locally made milk bun, so nice little sweetness to it too. Mm -hmm. A couple fish tacos, can't go wrong. It's awesome. a good San Diego day. And this does not look like it's forgiving, so. Good luck. <laughs> mm. Now that's an action shot. <laughs> Let's say someone was considering moving to Oceanside. Are there other communities surrounding that you would also recommend they check out? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely, if you're considering Oceanside, I would keep Carlsbad on your radar. I would keep Vista on your radar. I would even keep Lucadia on your radar too. It's got, yeah. they all have similar little vibes, um, small town vibes that I think would be, you know, comparable in all those spots. Yeah, I think Vista is gonna feel a little bit more rural in a yeah. lot of those areas. Yeah. And then you have Carlsbad just to the south. So if you wanna stay in a beach community, it's gonna feel a lot more suburban and one of my favorite places in San Diego for sure. Yeah.